Hello and welcome to another introduction to Windows operating system tutorial. Currently you're looking at the desktop. Here we would like to do some folder arrangement and moving the contents around to make it a little bit clutter free. So as you are noticing there are a lot of folders and there are a lot of icons. So in order for me to create a folder in Windows environment, especially in a desktop environment or if any of the folder is open, the best possible way is to right click that gives you an option of new that allows you to create a folder. So I would like to create a folder called the icon and pressing an enter will finalize the name. In order for you to move any of the contents inside this folder you can simply move one item at a time or you can drag and select bunch of items at the same time and you can actually move them in one shot and all those items will then going to be placed here as you can see over here all these items have been moved now you can also do the same thing right here and move them in one shot there is an alternate approach to moving in items so what I'm going to do is I will going to undo my last change. In order for you to undo any change, you can use the keyboard shortcut of control, press and hold the control key and then press the Z. Control Z. That undo the last change. And if you as you've noticed, all of these icons are now back. Now notice that they're not in sequence anymore, so I should not be able to select them like this. Rather, I have these two items that can be selected like this, but Camtasia 9 is not in the same sequence. So I can press and hold the control key on the keyboard while I click on Camtasia 9. And now all three of them are selected. I can let go the control key. Now I can drag and I can move all three of them into icon. This is how you can actually create a folder and you can move items in it. Now let me open the main folder. In the main folder, currently I have a folder called new folder. If you have a folder that you can use, you can always rename it. So for example, if I right click on the new folder and I choose an option of rename, it allows me to give a different name to this folder. So I would like to call this one training. And then I will select all these folders that I want to go in the training folder and then I can drag them and move them in the training folder. So this is how you can create folders and if you have a folder within a folder we call it subfolder. So you can push icons, files, folders within folders, you can move things around however you wish. I can drag this training folder out and push it, push it back to the desktop. I can take it back in so I can do all of those things. In the next tutorial, I will going to be teaching you how you can take files from one folder to another folder, provided that they are in the same folder. So I will going to create another folder over here, and I will going to move some of the contents from the training folder into that folder. But I'll going to cover that in the next tutorial. That's all for today.